Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I have the head Komodo 6K with this lineup of Siru uh, lens, the 55 1.2 and the 24 1.2 and the 35 1.2 as far as I know the circle of image of these lenses is for S35 as the Komodo F uh, S35 sensor it seems to me it's a little bit larger than S35 uh, but the main reason I bring you this is because of this DJI Focus Pro so this is the full set of the DJI Focus Pro um, I'm not sponsored anyway, anyhow, by DJI. I buy this with my own money. This is the LiDAR model, function mode, autofocal, manual focal, yet uh, it has uh, lights to, to show you the status of the LiDAR model. The USB-C port for you to connect your computer to make some upgrades and the connection to the grip. The grip itself is as good as the, the gimbals, the, the build quality is very good. Uh, one thing uh, this is the the Ronin RS2 and as you can see they are pretty similar and even the the grips the batteries are very similar but they one strange thing is they fit here but DJI says they have not the same voltage so don't use this on the Focus Pro grip um, all metal very good build quality here you have the the connections for the motor and for the lidar system wheel button everything the end unit um, for I'm, I'm, this is bought with my own money as i said this is the honest review as i can say it um, I was a little bit disappointed about the, um, the build quality of the body of the end unit. The wheel, when it's on, it feels good, but this feels very, uh, you know, like cheap plastic. But, um, Sometimes um, the functionality of the device uh, overcomes the, the plastic feel. Overall, it's good. The motors, yeah, they are okay. I've, I have the, the Tilta Nucleus M. The motors are heavier, but they feel a lot more strong than this but 
as I far as I try it out. They do the job, so good. I have already this motor with uh, the sticker F uh, focus motor. And here we have a bunch of cables. Um, they have this cable, it's a D-tap for a USB-C, but make no mistake, this is only for the motor. It says here, uh, do not connect a V-mount battery and the grip to the focus motor. So if you use this D-tap to the focus motor, don't use another cable from the grip to the um, focus motor. So if you want to power up the motor, either you use the cable direct from the grip unit to the motor, or you use this D-tap cable, not both. And now I will try to rig this and I have here on this box I have here some uh, tools that I need so every motor each motor brings uh, a rod, brings a gear belt, and this is a accessory for you to mount below the camera so you can easily install a rod and install a motor. This part is good for you to fix on a cage um something like this and after you can slide the focus grip into this and secure so it's the first time that i'm rigging up the um, the red komodo i will keep this aside it's the first time them that I will be rigging up the the grip, the lidar system to the red Komodo with this Sirui cinema lenses. Um, I really don't know where to start, but probably I think I need. Since the other unit uh, yeah. probably the the best way to start is to fix one of these below the camera. I don't know if I can, but This key, uh, I want to thank Shine Gear, not Cine Gear. Cine Gear is in UK, Shine Gear is in Berlin. So the, the owner of the store, he gave me this Tilta key. Uh, thank you very much. Shine Gear from Berlin. Um, now you have the Red Komodo with this module. Uh, one thing that I find really bad is, uh, of course, this has 
this dove tail for you to slide in in some kind of tripod or or something but I would like to see here on this part um, a thread 1/4 uh, to 20 380 16 thread so I can easily put uh, you know like a, a plate from a tripod if you don't have this slide in you will end up with a problem you use this but then you don't have any connection to put on a tripod so DJI please you can put it here you can instead of making a hole here you can make here a thread of 3816 here um, yeah or two one here one three uh, three eight sixteen another one four twenty you can make threads here so you can put easily on a tripod please do that this like this this um, is kind of a meaningless uh, part yeah but it's just a suggestion but I strongly I would like to see this change in the future thread please for the ones that don't know me my name is Pedro Miguel Costa I do some camera tech reviews some assembly some thoughts but uh, all related with cameras because it's my is my passion is my professional work I work as a filmmaker photographer everything I even uh, I'm a uh, licensed uh, drone pilot but here now we have the the plate and now we can install the focus motor on the focus wheel and yep yeah. nope as you can see this locker you can swamp position so you can have a better grip now we have the motor installed and now we need to put the lidar system for you don't, that don't know the, the Focus Pro unit, you probably have the same doubts that I had when uh, I was seeing it. So this system is completely independent from any camera. In the limit, you could use, um, you know, um, a film camera, photo camera with film and you could put a whole camera doing focus. So the system doesn't rely on the image that comes from the sensor of the camera. The image rely from the system of this camera and the LiDAR system. One thing that I would like to see DJI do, it's to make us the, uh, the possibility to connect this to a computer and use the LiDAR system and a camera to do a 3D scanner because if the iPhones are doing it with a LiDAR system uh, I think it should be a selling point for DJI we have the Focus Pro but you also have a high-grade 3D scanner please DJI let us use this as a 3D scanner unlock the LiDAR, the camera so we can use it on a computer, on an iPad, to use it as a 3D scanner. Now I'm gonna slide to this cold shoe. It's called cold shoe, not because it's cold. And there are hot shoe, and cold shoe is is given the name cold shoe because there's no connections. So it's just a dummy. Now we have the motor, we have the leader system. Now I need to find this little symbol. I don't know if you can see it. There. 
So it's a circle. It's a circle with um, a line. Every camera has this uh, symbol. Is the planar focus is where the line, the lens focus the image. So the sensor of this red Komodo is along this line. Why is it that important? Because now we need to measure how much, how is the distance between the focal plan, that is the sensor, and the front of the LiDAR system. So the system need to know the distance between the front of the LiDAR and that line there. Because when it's focusing, you need to know, uh, you have to do a discount because of the distance. The, in the perfect world, the LiDAR system would be aligned with a planar focus line, but I think it's better to be on the front. So it's really easy to put the motor, to put the, um, the LiDAR system. Now I need to find a way to connect this. Uh, yeah, the, the other part that I was looking for is this part. So with this part, you can uh, not easily, but you can put, uh, you could install the rod here, but as I have this cage, it will not be easy. Let me see if I have, no, I have no memory card here. So I have to find a way to put it and I think the the best way to do it is not with this but with this part attached to the cage I'm gonna attach here two screws yeah and I hope that I can slide this in here. Now I need to find the little screws. By the way, when I am go out to work, I have this, I know you call it, but in Portugal, bolsa, uh, that I normally put inside screws, washers, uh, nuts, uh, and I can find one tiny screw, two tiny screws, and I needed to find one more of the right size and now here I have some tools I don't even know if I pick yeah I pick the right one so this is the the large one is the 3, 8, 16, the small ones is 1, 4, 20.
So for now, I'm going to fix it with two screws. Just a little squeeze. And now, yeah, handle, grip, and you both grip. Now you have what is the full sensation. And with this, you can do really smooth movements without the need to know, oh, am I, am I in focus? Am I out of focus? Um, I hope the app already have mapped this lens because if you don't have the, the lens already mapped, um, you have to do it yourself. Uh, in the case of the, the Blazar Remus, they already have mapped the lens, so you just need to calibrate the motor. Let's start to connect a cable, a USB-C cable, and another. So you need two USB-C, two USB-C cables. right here on the LiDAR system. Uh, oh, sorry. Right here you connect on the far side here. So you have this to the computer and this to the grip. And here you connect uh, be aware that this Connectors, when you enter the, the connector is a little bit tilt up, at least it feels that way. So you see, two connections, this on the left side goes here, on the right side, and the other connects here, on the right side, and it goes to the motor. The motor has Uh, two USB-C's. You connect either one or another because it's to link motors. And now we have the system connected. Turning on DJ logo 45. So this is the 55 1.2. So it's saying inconsistent firmware update. Uh, I don't know why, because I didn't upgrade anything. Um, so I will confirm. He's doing some firmware update. It's very, very weird because I updated the system. Now. Uh, now the app. Let me close the app. Hmm. The app is connecting to my DJI Awesome Pocket 3. I really didn't want that. Now I'm going to to program another lens uh, with um, so plus I have the the Sirui. Yeah, but I don't have the Yeah. I don't have I need to configure uh in here I have the Lazar 
Ramos 45 T2 1.5 times. Uh, I don't know where to start. Um, it's saying there is a, a firmware update. Um, yeah, updating. Okay, I will update later. I need to to leave the app open so the the grip will upgrade I will now measure the, the distance between. So the leader has fifty-six, fifty-five point almost fifty-six. I will assume. 56, 56 millimeters, two point something inches. I'm Portugal, I use millimeters, not fractions of inches. Uh, yeah. The upgrade is at, yeah, it passed all the, um, the information to the grip and now is upgrading so i have 56 millimeters and now i will try to make yeah one of the good thing is the cage is actually lined up with the middle of the dot it will be very easy for me to measure. So I have 20, I have 24 millimeters. Um, so I have 24 millimeters plus 56 millimeters. There's an 80 millimeters. So between between the between the front of the lidar and the back, the, the the center dot of the where is situated the the sensor is eight centimeters. And now I'm going to do something that I never did, is to uh, 
uh, down here on the app now is saying with this lens I have 60 millimeters but I will try to add a new zero yeah Oh. Uh, by the way, these lenses are R mount, so they have the Canon, the, the new Canon mount that goes directly into the Komodo. Uh, and now to configure um, a new lens, for now you can already uh, see I can actually make it rotate with my finger, but that's not the point. The point is to do some autofocus. I'm just connecting now. Yeah. Uh, now let me see a lens profile oh, I want to add a new lens profile Oh, there's here. I didn't saw here. There's a connection here for um, for the camera, so you can press rack and everything else. So I'm gonna add one lens. Set focal lens. So focal lens. In this case, it is a uh, fifty five millimeters. Uh, so we have fixed it in print fifty five. Now start motor calibration. Confirm. Now I need to now I can read here the distance that the lidar is reading. Now it's asking me to focus something at one meter For this instance, the the grip was tell, uh, telling me to focus something uh, at um, one meter. Now I will try to read something that is at five meters. Yeah.
So the process, the process that I made, I calibrate the motor focus, I focus with the wheel, the lens at one meter, at one meter, I will disable here to manual focus. So what I did is I, I did go to the scale and put it at one meter. Then I point here the, the LiDAR system, but uh, okay. But now I need to tell the distance. One thing that I got wrong, it was the initial distance. So now it's not 60 millimeters, but it's 80 millimeters. So probably I got it wrong, but I will try. Now I'm going to turn on the camera. It seems right. 400 and and that's it is calibrated The minimum distance of this system is 60 millimeter. So I'm gonna here you can press M to switch between manual focus and autofocus. And And it is working amazingly. Uh, it's working very good. So I can point, really point at uh, any place that I want that is going to do focus. But uh, one of the main, one of the interesting thing is on this screen, on the screen you are seeing the image that this camera capture not this camera and 
you can select the point where you want to focus because sometimes uh, like this see the leader is not aligned with uh, the axis of the lens but it doesn't matter because you can put the leader system here and after you can select here a small cross and it will be be, will become active to track a subject but imagine if you are framing uh, something that is off uh, you can select another point and it's amazing it works so great it's so I think this is a, a breakthrough because I have some manual lenses. Um, I have the I have the um, the Blazar Remos forty five millimeters that you can see on uh, some episodes back. I have made some tests, but now with this minimal set. The thing that I really don't like is the on the bottom of this plate. There's no threading. There's no thread to fix uh, some kind of uh, tripod plate. Of course, you can slide it in on a specific um, tripod, but I don't need to have the specific plate. I want to thread something in here um uh, the system is good the system works uh, it's very simple grip leader motor two cables the system is completely independent from the camera uh, and it's amazing now let's try the, uh, I think to turn this on, you press the rec button. Yeah, you press the rec button. And you can, oh, it says inconsistent firmware versions, please confirm to update. Okay. Another update. You need a tool like this to measure the distance between the leader and the focus plane of the, of the camera. You need some manual lenses and that's it. It fits any camera. A old camera from the 80s, film camera. Uh, it fits a modern camera, everything you want. And for me, uh, I have the um, the Tilta wireless follow focus, but uh, I wanted to have this one so I can film because this is the kind of set that I, I like, or this or the tripod. But when I'm not on a tripod, I love this kind of feel, and to be with this two ends and an amorphic lens, yeah, not really. With a focus puller behind me, like Michael Bay, mm, not really. So I needed to have something reliable, good, so I can use with my manual lenses. So the firmware is updated. Uh, this slide is for Irish motor and this uh, for, I think for zoom. I feel some something strange here. Uh, it feels it, it is stopping. I think yeah, from one side is moving okay, but to the other side is pulling more than it can. So there's a misalignment between what was the the calibration there and what is happening here i don't know but i will 
turn it off and turn it on again probably because of the firmware I don't know I will try to calibrate the motor again to calibrate the motor you just I think you press oh. Yeah, to calibrate your motor, you press twice this button here. Uh, let me see if it is stopping on the right place here and here. Now, with the wheel grip, it is stopping. The hand points of the lens are correct. Now, let me see. With this one point, yeah, it's okay. I think it was a matter because I upgraded the hand unit and I didn't disconnect, didn't turn it off. Uh, one of the good things that I like about this, because he has light, but the markers, the the rock focus, you can pull two points and you and you reach the point it stucks but if you strongly press the focus goes beyond the point that you recorded and smoothly it goes to the place you know in manual focus system you have two screws to, to do the A mark, B mark, but with this digital system, it all become magnetic. And imagine you are pulling focus on two different subjects, but you want to go beyond the focus point, and after you release, it comes back. So it's really, really good. And to have the possibility to have rack focus between two points without having screws or something um, complicated. It's very easy. You press, you focus the subject, you press the AB button, you focus the other subject, you press the AB button, that's it, that's done. If you want to erase, simple as this, press again. In the M mode, you switch between AF and manual focus. Simple as that. You can... One, one of the, the good things, uh, you don't have to switch between master and slave. Um, each Yeah, one of the annoying things, I don't know how to change it, but imagine you are at this point of focus, very far, and with the grip, you come back with the focus, okay? Yeah, it is strange, because it will try to get the point of, of the wheel. I saw in some videos that the wheel could move when we move this, but until now, I didn't found it. Torque. You have focus knob stiffness, invert function, and button backlight general. Start up auto tune, reset something from a version, compliance. Uh, 
VM button. What does it do? Okay. Let's try this function. Between AF, MF, and between A, MF, and MF. Uh, let's see, what does it do? Yeah, this is really annoying. I touch the grip, I change the focus point, and after I rotate the knob and the uh, focus motor went very fast from one point to another. Uh, probably I'm missing something. I really don't know. Because at some point I saw Okay, a lot of settings. So if uh, I will try to find it later. Uh, but it's really, really strange. Why? Link motor? Okay. Cancel. So I don't know when I change the focus with the focus wheel on the grip. I don't know why doesn't this rotate so it doesn't jump. Uh, yeah, strange. Probably is something very simple. Now I disconnected all of this. And nothing happened. I disconnected and that's it. I hope that you enjoy this video. Uh, I kind of like uh, these videos because sometimes I have doubts and um, uh, and someone has studied the system for me and presented it to me and I always um, like to learn I also like to teach and this kind of videos uh, I hope that he will uh, remove any doubts that you had about the system and remember if you don't know me my name is Pedro Miguel Costa please subscribe give it a like support my channel uh, and bottom line, uh, this system is independent regardless of the camera you have. So the LiDAR system has nothing to do with the camera. It can transform any manual lens into autofocus lens in any camera. You just need it to set it up right. The distance between the front of the LiDAR and the focal plan of the sensor and the focal length of the of the, the lens and after you have to calibrate focus at one meter focus at between four and five meters and that's it and the good thing you can record several several parameters 
uh, imagine um, oh oh settings language firmware compliance info uh, author No. No. Here. The main so I'm going to turn it off I'm going to turn off the system I'm going to turn it on and I think now when I turn it on um, uh, yeah confirm for my update, it's something. It's very strange here. It's keeping, it's keep, keeping giving, uh, giving the error that uh, it has uh, inconsistent firmware. But yeah, Uh, take it off again. Turn it on, but it doesn't show me. Uh, I have the the torque of the motor set to low because this motor has so much strength. I just can't find uh, the settings. Okay, it's not this, the, yeah, I think I didn't give a name, but it's not. So lens profile 55, C2, uh, this is very important. You can store um, several presets. So when, when you change the lens, you don't have to do any of the one meter four meters calibration you just need to do the motor calibration so the system know the endpoints of the lens uh, at this time I have the Sirui 55T 1.2 um, stored and the Blazar Remus 45 millimeters 1.5 anamorphic lens uh, it's a system that is independent and because I would hate to have uh, image cable connected to the system to use the, the image of the camera like this, the system independent, um, it works very well. Uh, here you can adjust the height or the grip, okay. slide it up or down. And in here, you have a very interesting thing, is a rosette, you can rotate and it has this small tooth that put all in a firm connection. 
and like this you can be using and facing this little monitor so you just point up the the region where you want to focus and for now it's all good and I refer again the missing thread here of course you have if you have a cage you can connect a 15 millimeters rod but please make this part with a thread I think it's less expensive to to route all of this in a CNC machine than to do two screws and that's it I hope you like it my name is Pedro Miguel Costa if you like the the video please subscribe give a like and I will bring you up more of this um, and stay tuned because I will be launching a series of episodes film with DJI cameras, DJI drones on the nature it will be called Adventures with DJI so stay tuned for that episodes because I will show you amazing beautiful landscapes here in Portugal bye bye, thank you very much